Hello there, it's Friday the 4th of February and it's Mr Johnson here with Head Teachers Update from Maiden Early School in Reading. First of all, an apology, we uh, didn't uh, publish uh, an update last Friday, it's the first Friday we've missed of the uh, year, so my apologies about that, uh, lots going on in school, uh, so it's a bit of a bumper edition uh, this week. Um, some lots of highlights, lots of things going on uh, in school over the last couple of weeks. Uh, we've seen the Year 8 Options Evening, where we were able to uh, just share with parents um, the different options available to Year 8s as they make their choices uh, for courses next year. I know that was very valuable and very helpful. Uh, last night we had, uh, or this week rather, we've had the UK Maths Challenge. We've had lots and lots of students taking part in that national competition uh, to, to show what they can do uh, in their maths uh, with their math skills and uh, look for to the results of that. Also this week after school it's been very busy uh, as our year 11 revision corridors have, have got going again. Uh, different subjects offering different revision sessions to our year 11s and the attendance has been through the roof. So uh, many many of our year 11 students are taking that opportunity very seriously, grabbing it with both hands and benefiting uh, from those after school sessions that we're doing. Also we've uh, got our Duke of Edinburgh, uh, next cohort of Duke of Edinburgh students are up and running uh, under uh, uh, the able, very able leadership of uh, uh, Miss Harrison Smith uh, and her team. Uh, lots and lots of students that have signed up for that and that, that's great to see as well. A very, very positive um, opportunity to support uh, student personal development. Alongside also our combined cadet force and uh, it's been great to see uh, some of our cadets in school in their uniform, in their cadet uniform, uh, standing out from uh, uh, others in their normal school uniform but wearing that with pride and uh, lots to, to talk to you about to share with you over the next few weeks about what the combined cadet force are getting uh, involved with them. Again, m many, many people interested, many students interested in joining that. Um, this week our staff have been working very hard on data collection, in fact last week as well, uh, for uh, four of our year groups, uh, just assessing, thinking about where those students are in their, their journeys and their, uh, uh, um, uh, the progress that they've made in their subjects. And uh, we'll be sharing that data with you in the form of our school reports very shortly. Uh, and opportunity there for all of us, both school and parents, to have discussions with students to talk about uh, what they're doing in school and uh, the areas that they might improve. Uh, this week's been uh, Junior Mental Health Week and we've been uh, thinking about our mental health, lots of things going on in tutor time, just to help students to reflect on the importance of, of uh, good mental health and what we can do uh, to, to keep our mental health strong uh, uh, and uh, uh, lots of information there that, that I think is very, very vital for our students. And uh, I just want to let you know that the preparations and rehearsals for Olivia, our school musical, are coming on apace. And uh, great to speak to members of the performing arts team about how well that's going. And we're looking forward to sharing with you more uh, details about uh, how to come and see that uh, in the next few weeks. And uh, finally, our school council is very, very important to us. It's the, the main opportunity for students to have a voice formally into the leadership and the running of the school and I know uh, they've been talking through some really important issues uh, uh, with um, ably assisted by uh, Mr Cameron and Mr Pearce uh, to uh, help us uh, move forward and make decisions together as a community about many aspects so thank you to all of the students uh, who are involved in school council. Uh, just a brief Covid update for you, um, cases I think are trending down, still significant numbers in our year groups of students isolating and um, uh, not necessarily poorly but who have tested positive. So we do need to keep that testing going please, um, uh, but, but we're hoping that cases are starting to calm down. Uh, as you know that rules are now relaxed around face coverings in lessons although we still are urging and encouraging students to wear them in communal areas and in the corridors. Uh, next week we're expecting announcements about any adjustments or changes to GCSE arrangements for the summer and the examinations uh, for the summer. Uh, my expectation is that uh, examinations will go ahead as normal. Uh, there might be some slight adjustments around papers and questions and that sort of thing. So we'll, we will find out a little bit more about that. As soon as I know, I will let you know, uh, as is always the case. An appeal really to all of us to, to be good neighbours and um, we've had a number of complaints into the school about uh, parents uh, uh, perhaps parking uh, 
um, not in a very considerate way, blocking driveways, um, blocking access to our, our neighbours. Our, our, our relationship with our neighbours is really important actually, very important that we keep that as strong as possible. So please, could, please, 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 could I ask you to be considerate, particularly around parking. And also if you are asked um, by an irate neighbour, uh, please don't see that as an opportunity to, to get into an argument or a debate or, or, or worse uh, and please could you just be as, as good a uh, uh, an advert for our school as we expect our students to be uh, and um, uh, thank you for, for helping us with that and also uh, encouraging your child when they're coming to and from school uh, to behave uh, appropriately and properly um, uh, we uh, want them to show all of those good manners that they show around school. There's no reason why they can't show that uh, when they're outside of school as well. So we'd like to ask for your support with that. So what's coming up? Well, uh, busy week again. Uh, we have our apprenticeship uh, information evening on Tuesday. Uh, that's uh, something we're doing across the Maiden Early Trust and uh, details about that on the website. Um, Year 8 have their parents progress meeting on Thursday, hot on the heels of options evening. We now uh, will discuss with parents about how students are doing in their individual subjects. So uh, please, if you're a parent of a Year 8 student, make sure you're getting uh, uh, get, get there for Thursday. Remember, we're doing it uh, online, so hopefully that makes it really easy for you to uh, attend those meetings. Uh, on Friday, uh, the school will be closed uh, to students on the 11th uh, because we have a Maiden Early Trust staff conference. It's a training conference uh, where all of the schools across our trust will be uh, joining together or the staff will be joining together uh, virtually uh, for, for input, professional development, training, envisioning. And, uh, that looks like it's going to be a, a great conference. And uh, just a little bit uh, further on into February, you may have seen the uh, to the end of February, you may have seen um, articles in the media, in the news around school streets. So I've been talking about it probably since we started these head teacher updates. Uh, it's a scheme we've been wanting to introduce. We've uh, now got uh, sufficient marshals uh, to be able to run the school street project on a morning only basis. So what will happen is that for 45 minutes in the morning, around the opening of school, uh, the, uh, the road just outside school on Crescent Road will be closed uh, to passing traffic. So that will just increase health and safety, uh, the safety of our students as they make that final uh, journey to school. So we will of course be writing with more detail about that and how that exactly works and the alternative places that you can drop off uh, students uh, for, for school. So uh, morning only, as we build up our marshal capacity, we'll also be looking to introduce uh, an afternoon uh, closure as well for, for our school street. So that's really good news. We've been working hard on that uh, and uh, it's good to see that finally it looks as though we're going to be ready to go after half term. And finally, um, I'll be writing to uh, you in the next couple of weeks about a uniform review that we're doing in school uh, following um, some changes in, in government legislation, uh, all about trying to bring the cost of school uniform down. And uh, we've been thinking about how we're going to do that. And uh, I'm excited to uh, be able to share uh, some of our thoughts and ideas and proposals with you. So watch out for that. I know no, a number of uh, parents have been asking me about that. Uh, so that news is imminent. So that's it for uh, this week. I say it's, apologies, it's a bit of a bumper uh, edition uh, given that we didn't do one last week. So I will um, uh, uh, commit uh, once again to doing a weekly uh, head teachers update for you. Uh, and uh, look forward uh, to, to seeing you all uh, soon at whatever event we have. Uh, and other than that, say goodbye and have a good weekend. <laughs>